making a stupid simple little tool that's going to save like countless hours. All right, today in the shop, we're working on side-by-sides. -side. Well, I say we're, but really I'm not doing it. Landon's doing it. So he's got a summer job working for East Zion Experiences. They're a repelling company. And they take tours, run people around, check out our country down here. And he's got a job working for them, doing some maintenance on their machines. So he is currently changing out some rear shocks that are blown out. So today we're gonna build a tool that's gonna make changing these shocks from like a 10 minute to 20 minute job into a five minute job. And he'll be able to do it his own self and I don't have to help him. So there we go. All right, what are you doing? Walk me through it here. Taking the back shock off so I can. Uh, why? How do we know it's bad? All the oil. Oh, that's on it. That is a good indicator. The oil supposed, supposed to look like the other side. The oil supposed to be on the inside. Yeah, not the out. All right. We've done a couple of these shocks on these can amps, and. We're going to build a tool today so that it's way easier to build them or to put them together so Landon can do it when I'm not around. So I just machined this thing in here and this fits on it right here. I'm going to take it over, cut this piece off, flip it around, chuck it up in the lathe and I'll show you what I'm doing. And then it'll make perfect sense to you guys. We're making a stupid simple little tool that's going to save like countless hours. So I'll go cut this off real quick and then I'll come back and we'll chuck it up. Now we'll go back to the lathe. Okay, it's a little warm right now. We're going to chuck it up in here and finish this tool. Get everything where we need it. We'll cut it across there. Cool. Still haven't figured it out? No. You will. We're gonna go over here. Oh, you're trying to build a thing for it so it just sits down in there. Right you are. Okay. One inch. Looks like that one will do it. Once this is done, it'll make your life easy. It can't slip out of there on you. How deep are you going? Just deep enough it holds, not super deep. Uh, maybe I'll go a little smaller bit. Okay, we got this thing machined. I'll show you what it does. So this is going to drop into there, weld around there. This will set up on here, lock in, which that goes over, that's, that's hot, <laughs> like that, captures the shock, we press it down, pull the keepers off, voila, done. There we go. Okay, we'll put those two together, and your tool will be manufactured. Cool. We'll go cool that off. We'll see how it works. So, what we're doing here, you got to pull this keeper off right there. So, easiest way I know to do that is right here. Slide that on. Pull the keeper off. Okay. Then we 
take that and that and that. Slide them on the new shock. We want it at the top one so we don't have to do it again. Slide that down on it like so. Put that right there. That on there. makes it so you don't die. Yep. Shock replaced. Worked perfect. Okay. Go put her back on, lad. Okay. Put the bolts on it. Shock's all fixed. She's brand new. Looks good. He can go back to work now, right? Yeah. All right. See you, bud. Problem solved. Fixed. All right. So we got some mail today from Neil Pointus. He hooked us up with some drill hog drill bits. They're actually awesome. Uh, Landon abused him the other day, drilling some holes in his frame. They're good. Another guy sent me, never tried these drill bits out yet. But we're going to give them a, a try. They're 3 8 They are from Active Window Products. Thank you guys. Thanks for hooking us up. We will use these drill bits and abuse them. And we'll let you know which ones we find out work the best. So we just had a yeah, fan stop by the shop. All. And he let us know that he owns a Jeepster and he wants to show it to us. One. So we're going to check this out. Oh, that's so cute. Axles are out of an 85 CJ7. Oh, yeah. Uh, the engine is original, Still but, it's, but it's rebuilt. Yeah, it's a V6, Dauntless V6. And I was maintaining speed limit up over the hill. The transmission is a T5 five speed, also out of a CJ. Yep. And then I have a Dana 300 transfer case, twin stick. Oh yeah. Four eleven gears locked. Put a four to one kit in it, or no? I left it I've stock. Just left it stock. And I'm not planning on crawling or wheeling this thing hard. It's a it's a play toy. Oh yeah, exactly. Oh, this awesome. is cute. It's, I want to see the inside. Feel free. Tucker and Amanda are in there. Yeah, this is. Hi, awesome. Tucker. This Hi. Is, this is what you want to do for that one. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> When we went to buy the FJ45 and the the Jeepster was there, Paul mentioned that he thought it was in 1985. And we've been corrected many, many times from all of you guys, including him. And he thinks, what, what year do you think it is? The one that's in the video. It's between 67 and 71. Because this one's a 67. We'll be building one of these before long about these ducks that are given away and we don't know what he's talking about so the the latest thing with the wranglers is if they like your jeep they leave you a duck who's they though whoever has another wrangler okay so you and need to get like a supply left, of ducks we have so a supply you, of ducks so you can give it to somebody else correct <laughs> and like they have geocaching put, on cars yeah. correct they have put ducks on our jeep twice that's awesome so anyways that's i so wanted nice. to give you guys a duck it's a little one but Sweet. it's oh, a yeah. mini duck yeah. <laughs> It's for Toyota. I'm super like intrigued by this. Where we do they put them? We found one on the hood and then we found one on the driver's seat. That do they put cool. a note on it or anything? On the bottom they, they write the name of them. Oh, yeah, okay. It has the Jeep oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I love one. that yeah. so much. Hey, yep, come on them. down. Come on <laughs> down. He hates when the camera's out. <laughs> I mean, I've never known you to be shy, but every time this thing's out, you'd get all shy on us. I'm a shy guy. All this body damage in the front area up here. What did you do? It's been, it's some little deer sacrificed his body. Just it ran into you like it did me, huh? It ran into you. Well, if you need we any help bored. or anything, stop on by. All right. We'll, we'll nice meeting you. All right, see ya. All see ya. Right. All right, so it's like 10.42 at night. Matt just gave me a call. Said there's a van stuck 
close to me. So we're going to burn down and see if we can pull them out, get them back on the road. They're stuck in the sand. Shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, it didn't sound like it anyway, but you never know. We'll see. Just turned off the highway onto the dirt road and we're looking for them. They're down here somewhere. Found them. They just made it to where the sand is, basically. Found you. Yeah. Okay, we'll turn around, and hook on to you. I uh, appreciate you. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. That truck is bad. <laughs> I know. How long you been stuck? Yeah, about an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Not too bad. That's been beautiful out here, anyways. Yeah, it's been a great night. The stars are starting to come out. Yeah. Okay, I'll tug you out. All right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yep, no problem. Glad you guys were up. All right. Thank Appreciate you. you. Thank yep, you so no much. Problem, man. On your way now. Absolutely. We're Absolutely. Up. Thank you guys. Have a good one. You too. Turn that hub out, Land, and we'll get on our way. Well, that wasn't too hard. We probably could have done it in two-wheel drive, but we turned the hubs in and just bumped them a little, came right out. They just turned around in a bad spot. That's all. Yeah. Okay, we're on our way home and we'll go back to bed.